this is the start of the second turkey vlog now let's get in to the video so it's breakfast time chocolate cereal cross it with a ham and cheese and then i was playing in the pool but then straight to lunch time so pesto pasta chicken red peppers kiwi melon and afterwards had ice cream to cool down and then of course a waffle because i'm just stuffing my face because i'm on holiday so why not so i went into the full place just literally asked for chocolate sauce chocolate chips and now i'm about to review but also on this holiday i've just noticed as well my arms seem bigger than normal can you see that there Madness. Like I haven't actually worked out properly in two weeks before I came on holiday and then I was like, I feel like they look like a, a good size arm, so I'll take it. I'm headed back to the pool now, but I will, when I manage to actually get some time to edit this, I will then fill in the gaps and I'll keep you up to date with things that are going on. But yeah, the water slides are literally so much fun. They're so fast, absolutely wicked. And I'll just show you all the stuff that they go up to and all of the entertainment on the night time, because so far the entertainment on the night time has been top draw has been really really good so i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit so chilled out by the pool again hot chocolate before dinner now let's head to tea time so it's like kebabs and um, beef fajitas and all that type of stuff some of it was good some of it was a little bit dry hit and miss the chocolate um drink here wasn't the best but then the desserts turned out to be actually pretty decent to be fair and this was one of my favorites it was kind of like a moussey strawberry type crumble vibe and then ice cream of course so today is day three and we got up, headed for some breakfast. I've already showed you all the meals and stuff, but I've then went and swam today in the pool. I didn't do any exercise classes today, just swam a lot. And then went on some water slides for a little bit. And then we've came back to the room, chilled out, got ready and went for some dinner. And tonight's entertainment, I think is meant to be like some sort of like dancey type thing, but I'll show you anyway. So today's been a really chill day, really nice. So next time you see me will be the entertainment. So tonight's outfit is this shirt, these chinos, some trainers, this necklace, obviously wedding ring, this ring and a watch. So it's the next day now, breakfast, chocolate cereal, croissant, ham, cheese, the usual. And then after this, I had some pancakes with chocolate sauce, a bit of dusted sugar on. This is the view of the mountains, beautiful. So what is happening? Day four now, and the entertainment last night was really good. It started off like a martial art type, like flips and like saving the world. And then there was a few like comedy dances in the middle, and then it ended off like saving the world and saying mission complete. So I was very confused, but I really did enjoy it. It was very good. So on day four, we're gonna be just chilling by the pool, swimming, having some good food and all that kind of stuff. So I'll take you on the journey. So let's go. So it's day four and I'm still not over the fact yet that the beach is there the pool is there <laughs> literally 10 steps away from each other incredible the sun is really hot today a really beautiful day so dinner time was like this turkey stick pesto pasta some flavored pitters which are actually really good and some cucumbers watermelons nectarines i actually had quite a lot of fruit when i was over there they had chocolate mousse and this like weird biscuit cake thing and of course ice creams i love it and then the waffles so got brought some more drinks when they're on the roller skates i still wasn't getting used to this it's so good and they have the branded pop i still wasn't getting used to that so tea time now it's like grilled chicken i had some more of the pitter stuff i had some left over cucumbers chips 
cheese, cheesecake, cake, apple, all some good taste and stuff to be fair, ice cream, of course, as well, and a hot chocolate. Let's discuss the entertainment last night was class. So they came out, it was maybe like a circus type theme, and they did loads of different tricks, loads of stuff as you've already just seen. Absolutely unbelievable, really, really good, thoroughly enjoyed it. So we're currently on day five now, and I haven't shown you any food today, and I'm not going to be showing you any food today. So I've actually got a bad belly. Not going to go TMI too much here, but for some reason, some meat with the turkey food, is just not agreeing with me today at all. I am eating food, but it's just very boring foods. I wouldn't necessarily show a lot of bread, a lot of like waffles, pancakes, starchy foods. Um, yeah, so I'll go back tomorrow, hopefully, to show you some food and stuff. So today, it's just chilling out by the pool, sunbathing, a tiny little bit, not too much sweat today, in the pool, just general relaxing. So I'll pick up the camera again tonight to show you guys the entertainment. And I think tonight it's Elvis. That's been pretty decent. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. We're on day six now, and last night's entertainment was interesting to say the least. It was an Elvis dancey one, it wasn't quite for me, but I could appreciate they were good dancers. Um, so today, just going to just chill by the pool, it's red hot, it's 31 degrees, absolutely sweating, so it's going to relax today. So I just realised on this second vlog that the first vlog I didn't show you the beach, I'm going to go in the sea and show you the beach. Let's go. Beach is beautiful as if it's so hot today and the sea is so clear blue even it's lovely so last night we literally just chilled out in the room packed the cases a little bit watched a little bit of netflix had some snacks after dinner and just relaxed because the entertainment was meant was smurfs and we didn't really fancy going to watch the smurfs like dancing group so we just had a chilled one because we we're a little bit tired so thought catch up on some sleep so today is day seven slash the last day of the holiday so we have managed to extend the trek out from 12 to 6 p.m so that's pretty decent so we can go in the pool all day the come back have a shower go for tea, then we still get the entertainment because we're not getting picked up until things like 10 past 11 we're getting picked up at to take us to the airport. So pretty much getting the full day here. So I'll show you bits and bobs. Let's go. So I went to the shoe shop and I picked up these Nike ones and I picked up these great Adidas ones. I like them both. I managed to get some other jerseys and stuff, but I'll show you that in a future video. So this little kitty jumped on the table while I was having some pop where we usually have the hot chocolates from. And it was so cute. I was giving my little ice cubes. So the entertainment on the last night was okay. It wasn't my favourite, but it was pretty decent, a bit of dancing and that. 
So the reason why I didn't show you too much food in this video is because I said on day five I had a bad belly. Thankfully it was getting better each day, but I was still eating loads of starchy foods because something about the turkey food just didn't quite agree with me. So I was eating a lot of like pancakes, I was eating lots of croissants, beer girls, um, quesadillas, stuff like that, lots of carby foods. So I didn't know if it would get boring watching the same thing over and over again. So I just didn't film just to be safe. Um, we got picked up at 10 past 11, got through Antelia Airport thankfully very quickly. So by the time we got on the plane, I was absolutely starving. I had a ham and cheese toasty, I had a twirl and a Fanta Orange Zero. Very rarely do I drink Fanta Orange, but when I do, oh, it's so zingy, I love it. So then we actually landed in England at like 6 a.m., gone Uber home, had like two hours sleep. I managed to get an hour and a half on the plane because I can't just sleep straight when the plane like people can. Um, so three and a half hours sleep all together. And then I got up, when I got the dog, came back, absolutely shattered I was. My eyes were stinging. And then I was like, I need a McDonald's. <laughs> I'm so tired, I need a McDonald's. So that's what you're about to say. So I've landed back in England now, and of course it means one thing, get McDonald's, I'm going to get it now. I'll show you what we've ordered. I need to just relax. Coke Zero for the drink, of course, because I don't do Pepsi Max yet. Double quart pounder and cheese, no sauce, no salad, large fries, unbelievable, just what I needed after being absolutely shattered. The fries tasted great, the burger was super soft, really, really nice, super loads of flavour, and then just neck in the pop. And then I picked up this Milka Oreo from the airport in Antalya, so I was just demolishing the full bar because I just needed to eat loads of junk food, relax, and just chill out for the day. So what is my honest opinion on Turkey? So I thought the weather is beautiful. It's like 30 degrees for the entire week, red hot. You haven't got to worry about it being cold or raining or anything like that. It was so, so hot. The staff are so, so friendly. The language barrier is a little bit of an issue because I had issues with the female staff understanding me in the first half of the week. And then the second half of the week, it was mainly male staff and they started to struggle to understand us as well. So sometimes it is a little bit of a language barrier there, but they're super friendly though. And they do, <laughs> they are persistent. They do try and understand what you're saying. And eventually I did get there. Um, the food is hit and miss for me. But I am a fussy eater, so do bear that in mind. If you're not a fussy eater, there is a million amount of options. There's loads of like meat, fish, veggies, loads of different types of like rice dishes, and like laws of food. If you're not a fussy eater, I'm a fussy eater. So for me, it was a little bit more difficult because there wasn't as much of the stereotypical stuff there that you find everywhere. So I know I'm always gonna like something, but I always found something, but it just there was a lot more like different things to what I'm used to eating. So yeah, it was a bit hit and miss for me personally. But yeah, I am fussy here. Um, but there were so many options that I always managed to find enough food that I liked. And there were so many other places, like the ice cream parlor, the dessert, like the waffle shack. I, was, I went to them like nearly every day. Um, really good. Would I go back to Turkey? Yes, but not straight away. So I'll go back to Turkey in a few years time. Turkey for me personally is not one of them places I would visit all the time. I had loads of fun. I had a great, great time. Thoroughly enjoyed myself, but it's not a holiday like the Cyprus one that I just went on in May for my honeymoon. 100% I want to go there next year. I could go there every single year of my life because everything about it was incredible. I would be scared to go back to Turkey just because of the food alone. And also the market. My God, did they scare me. You go there and they're constantly trying to rush in. They're trying to show you everything. Like, calm down. If you stop being so, like, in my face, I'd probably buy more things but i got put off at how like in your face they are so the shops where they weren't i actually bought stuff the stuff where they were in my face i just walked away i don't like that don't do that just like just chill out i understand this is how you make your money i get that but pushing yourself on someone isn't gonna like they're not gonna, like okay i'll buy everything like no it just scares me i'm gonna leave um so yeah i did enjoy it some elements it's a little scary <laughs> but overall yes i did thoroughly enjoy turkey but i wouldn't go back every year i would just go here and there if there's a place i wanted to try so it's the end of the video now. If you guys did enjoy it, please smash the sub and like button. And then, of course, the next video out will be a food video. But I have had a lot of people ask me to do more vlogs. I will mix and match and put them in there as well. Take care, stay safe. See you guys in the next one.